In order for a sheet of tempered glass to become a solar panel, there are about two dozen processes that the glass needs to pass through. Everything from attaching a special film to vacuum sealing and packaging the finished product is all done in one factory. These are the cells that will soon generate electricity. An operator remotely controls a robot auto stringer that connects the contact grid. The process of sealing is shown in the display. The data comes from the cameras. The main thing is to ensure the quality of sealing, so that the contact will be reliable and the input-output ratio will be high. This factory has the highest level of production automation among European plants, with minimal human intervention and near-sterile conditions. Even the smallest dust particle has to be removed. Any foreign particle in the panel automatically decreases its quality. And we only produce the highest quality panels. Over the span of a year, the factory can make enough panels to produce 200 megawatts of energy, which equals to around 20 mid-sized solar power stations. Next year, they are planning to launch a second phase of the project that will produce the same amount of panels. For now, we are building a portfolio and evaluating their viability. Now we are ready to supply panels for industrial plants and are looking over offers from small businesses and private homes. The State Energy Efficiency Agency claims that launching this kind of factory is a new push for the development of renewable energy in Ukraine. Investors will be able to save on the delivery of solar panels from abroad and quickly make a profit off of investments. Investors that will work in Ukraine and build solar power stations will also be able to receive a subsidy of 5 to 10 percent for using renewable energy from panels produced in Ukraine. Over the past year, almost 2 billion US dollars was invested into the Ukrainian renewable energy industry. And the total capacity of solar stations increases two to three times annually. This year, it is expected that renewable energy will produce around one and a half thousand megawatts. Reported by Yevhenia Burda, UATV.